The Type 1130 is a third-generation naval close-in weapon system, or SeaWiz for short, deployed by the Chinese Navy on board its frigates, destroyers, and aircraft carriers. It is also called the HPJ-11. It is essentially an 11-barreled 30mm Gatling cannon, directed by radar and electro-optical tracking systems. Its main role is the last-ditch, close-range interception of incoming missiles, including supersonic ones. It can also be employed against aircraft, including drones and helicopters, ships, coastal targets, as well as any visible enemy personnel. The Type 1130 was initially deployed on the aircraft carrier Liaoning, but was later deployed on all large Chinese warships, including the Type 55 destroyer, most of the Type 52D destroyers, and some of the Type 54A frigates. It is of course also used on the aircraft carrier Shandong and the Type 75 LHD. Pakistan is also an operator of the Type 1130, as it is the main close-range defense on the Type 54 AP frigate, the Tugru class. The Type 1130 is an evolution of the second generation Type 730 SeaWiz, which is a seven-barreled Gatling cannon. While externally similar to the Dutch goalkeeper in terms of appearance, the Type 730 uses indigenously developed fire control radars and optical systems. It is an upgrade on the Russian AK-630, which was used on the earlier Chinese warships. The Type 730 has faster reaction time and better fire control than the AK-630. The Type 730 remains in use on Chinese warships that have not transitioned to the Type 1130, either because of power or space limitations, age or other design constraints. Type 1130 has a maximum firing range of 5 km and a rate of fire of 11,000 rounds per minute, possibly the fastest out of any SeaWiz in service currently. For comparison, the Russian AK-630 M2 double-gun duet SeaWiz has a rate of fire of 10,000 rounds per minute. Type 1130 consists of several key components. The 11-barreled Gatling cannon is housed in an automated gun turret. The gun turret is designed with stealthy angular surfaces to reduce the radar cross-section. Two ammunition boxes sit on either side of the gun, with 1,280 rounds each, for a total of about 2,600 rounds. The infrared and electro-optical tracking systems, as well as the fire control radar, are all integrated into the gun turret. Like most Western sewers, the information is processed on site via local computers in the gun turret, thus providing faster reaction time than, for example, the Russian AK-630, in which the radar and fire control systems are located separately. Keeping everything in the same place also reduces the risk of any individual components being knocked out by enemy action, which would render the whole weapon redundant. Type 1130 is equipped with a TR-47C J-band fire control radar, incorporating a miniature phased array technology that enables the radar to pick up the splashes of 30mm rounds. It is reportedly an entirely local design with minimal foreign technological influence. The system can track a sea skimming target with a 0.1 square meter radar cross section at 8 kilometers, extended to 15 kilometers if the radar cross section of the target is increased to 2 square meters. For comparison, a typical cruise missile has a radar cross section of a single square meter. 
so it can be tracked by the radar well before about 10 kilometers. By the way, if you enjoyed our video so far, please press the like button. The Type 1130 Seawiz fires a 30mm spin stabilized armor piercing round. Each projectile consists of a sub caliber round fitted inside a sabot, which is discarded shortly after firing. The heavy metal core of the ammunition relies on kinetic energy to penetrate the armor protecting the missile warhead. If we assume that the projectile weighs about as much as a NATO 30mm armor piercing round. This means that the Type 1130 can put 78 kilograms of munitions onto its target every second. That is the weight of an average adult accelerated to more than the speed of sound every second. Another interesting story is that each 30mm round cost about 2,000 renminbi, which is the Chinese currency, equal to about 300 US dollars. This means that firing the Type 1130 for just one second cost about 300,000 renminbi, or 45,000 US dollars. Of course, this is still far cheaper than the cost of replacing a hull destroyer if it gets disabled by an enemy missile. Reportedly, the Type 1130 can be integrated with the HQ-10 short-range infrared guided missile to form a gun and missile Seawiz, similar to the setup on the Russian Kishtan Seawiz. This would have the advantage of neutralizing an incoming threat much more completely and prevent any debris or shrapnel from hitting your ship and knocking out delicate electronics or killing crew members. Personally, I haven't come across any photos of the Type 1130 being integrated with the HQ-10 missile system, but we know as a fact that the Type 730 can already be integrated. So it seems pretty likely that the Type 1130 can do the same thing. So how good is the Type 1130 as a defensive system? Well, according to a Chinese news report, the Type 1130 is able to intercept incoming missiles up to a speed of Mach 4, with a 96% success rate. Now, you might think that this was probably under ideal test conditions, and fair enough, but still, I think it still demonstrates that the Type 1130 is a very capable Seawiz. I don't know if I would call it the best, but it is certainly a strong contender. Much of the strength of the Type 1130, I believe, comes from the quality and precision of its fire control radar, and also the Owen one integration of the various subsystems inside the gun turret, which leads to a faster reaction time. For more information on Chinese naval technology, I recommend this video on the YJ-18 cruise missile, which is the main anti-ship weapon of PLA Navy destroyers.